so lonesome, I never had a friend. Always looking out for number one. Didn't care where I was going.
things that we just can't explain. We don't know why. Lord, why in the world would you do this? If you love the Lord, guess what? He's got a purpose. In it. Yeah. 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 I want to share this. I, I was watching those young people back there while they go, and I'm thinking, you know, we've got five grand kids, and we raised two daughters, and a lot of young people out there in the world today that are really, really fighting off Satan. And I just want us to, to, to band together, church, to pray for our young people. Mm -hmm. You know, we believe in angels. We know that angels are all around us. Mm -hmm. but, but in retrospect, Satan's demons yeah. are all around us too. Right. I mean, they're in this church. They're, they're, they're putting them with claws in your brain when you're trying to focus on, on, on God's Word and they're dragging your mind somewhere else. That's, that's what Satan does to you. That's what Satan... And he would... He would, he would Cause you to lose focus. In fact, I, I come up with a little ABC thing for my field force the other day, and, and I'll share. It. You know, we, we know as Christians, there's three things you gotta do: admit, believe, and confess. And and, 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 and you can be saved. And admit that you're a sinner, believe in Jesus Christ, the risen Savior, God sent in the world, die for me, my your sins, and then confess. And, and that's what the Bible says we have to be saved. And then everything else comes after that. You can't mm -hmm. live a Christian life and then think that you're going to be a Christian. you got to be a Christian. That's what salvation is. This is the part I like, you know. And, and, and I think that starts in, uh, let's see, I don't want to burn you down to read too much. That is written. Let's see. Who shall separate us from the love? This is this is people that have received Christ as their Savior. You know, Satan will have you sometimes think you're not saved, preacher. Come on, you say you ain't fit for the kingdom of God. None of us are. Hey, we might stand up here, here, here today in suits, but to God we're completely naked. He knows every little thing that goes through our mind. Amen. And when He's blotted out down there on earth as Christ, here's the wonderful thing about Christ, Christ's blood. See, that's what covers the sin. Mm -hmm. And when God looks down on us, He don't see that sin because God can't look on sin. Right. He refuses to look on sin. God is so so great and so loving. Well, he he refuses to look on sin. The only way He can see us is through the blood of Christ. Amen. Amen. And this is what I like. If, if you're saved today, this is the promise. Listen to this. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation? No. Or distress? or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. That's we as Christians. Think about what happened to all the disciples. But look at their reward. Look at the other side of that reward for a person like Jesus. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, Amen. which is in Christ Jesus Amen. our Lord. I want you to listen to Chris sing a beautiful song, Teach Me the Lord. <laughs>